fair bit of hyperbole in that last piece, but um, there's a, there is an element of truth, obviously, and I think what it is, the mother represents like the you know, sort of like the total, like the 100% level of trust and intimacy and, and love, unconditional love. You know, it's like already there, it's built in, it's innate. And I have a hard time building to that with someone I don't know. Like to get from zero to that is a very uncomfortable process for me. Like the idea of intimacy is really, it fucks with me. Like I get in those intimate moments where like they're unguarded and vulnerable and I just get the, I'm like, I get the fuck out of here. Like my gut instinct is like to get, to, I gotta leave. It's an intimacy issue. And then what happens with that is when you feel a certain way, your brain is really good at justifying how you feel. So if you feel like you should leave, your brain will go find reasons why you should. It'll come back with all this intel, like, here's why you should leave. And you have to be like, oh, wait, is that legitimate reasons to leave? Or is that just me trying to justify my insecurity? I don't know. And that's where I think therapy can help. Therapy kind of helps you unmask your phobia. Like, to me, therapy is like the final scene of every episode of Scooby-Doo. Because <laughs> the whole episode's the same thing. They're like, ah, it's a ghost. And they take the mask off at the end. They're like, oh, it's the guy who owns the bakery or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why they don't catch on at some point, but. <laughs> That's what therapy does for your emotions. You know, you're in a relationship, you're like, I don't know, she's a little boring. And then therapy's like, you're like, oh, my parents never showed me what love looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Thought she was bad at telling stories. Turns out I have no foundation. <laughs> um, I am broken irreparably from the inside. I'm flying blind without a map. I'm replicating a power dynamic instead of establishing reciprocity. <laughs> Silly me. I thought she used the wrong form of your in a text message. Turns out I've downloaded my sexual identity from movies. <laughs> Whoops. You ever do that? You ever think you're a person but you're actually an amalgamation of projections you've absorbed over 32 years? <laughs> oh boy. The egg is on my face. <laughs> is that a thought or a plot line from a 1996 film? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. 